welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers and data enthusiasts have encountered. Our viewer is asking, is YQL or datatables.org down as of May 17 to 18, 2017? They've been experiencing issues with downloading historical stock prices from Yahoo Finance, and it seems like the links they used to rely on are no longer functioning. Let's dive into the details of the situation and explore what's happening. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue of accessing historical stock prices from Yahoo Finance. Recently, users have reported problems with the existing links for downloading data. The original links used for downloading data have changed. For example, the link that used to work is now outdated, and a new link requires a session cookie to function properly. To bypass the session cookie requirement, users have attempted to access the YQL API directly. However, many are encountering a connection refused error. This error may indicate that the datatables.org site, which YQL relies on, is down. It's important to check the status of this service to confirm. In conclusion, if you're facing issues with Yahoo Finance data retrieval, consider checking the status of YQL and datatables.org and explore alternative data sources if necessary. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. It seems that YQL and datatables.org are down as of May 17, 18, 2017. A possible alternative is Quandle, but it doesn't have all the same data. For example, I'm unable to retrieve data on ETFs like VXUS and VTI. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. As of May 17, 18, 2017, YQL and datatables.org are no longer operational. The Yahoo data service has been discontinued, including the adjusted price feature. Instead, you can use the Google Finance API, which is still functional and can be automated. Here's a quick VBA code snippet to download historical data. Set your start date, symbol, and construct the URL to fetch the data in CSV format. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. As of May 17, 18, 2017, a Yahoo employee confirmed that the free end-of-day data from YQL and datatables.org has been terminated and will not return. This change follows Yahoo's acquisition by Verizon. You can still download financial data from Yahoo's financial page, but it now requires a new API with an authentication token called Crumb.
For those interested, I've created a Python 3 script to download the CSV using the new API. You can find it on GitHub. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.